Hey guys, welcome to my kitchen. Guess what? I'm back and I'm gonna be doing some more cooking videos and these videos are gonna be a part of a new series and I'm gonna be creating food from video games and we're gonna start with Sims because Sims is like been my thing lately. Many of you know that I have done cooking streams in the past but I've never really tried to do video content other than streaming it. So recently, I, with my focus on YouTube, I thought, you know what? And I got this new camera, the Canon M50, which is really, really nice. I do live with my parents right now, so it does make it a little bit more difficult for me to set up a stream setup in the kitchen because I end up having a lot of supplies. I have to bring my laptop, the monitor, my microphone, all that deal. So we're recording straight from my camera with my little mini Rode mic that's hooked up to it. We'll see how it goes. I hope you guys like it. And let's make some lemon parm herb crested salmon. That's what we're gonna do today, okay? And the name of this series is called Anna Bites. Thank you, Jim, for coming up with the name. And I think it works really well because we're gonna bite into all kinds of yummy stuff. So yeah, <sighs> I'm not freaking out, you're freaking out, okay. Also, don't forget, if you want to request any dishes from food that you'd like to see me create, please leave a comment below. Let me know what you wanna see because I love to do things that you guys wanna see as well. I did a poll. What did win was the lemon herb crested salmon. We do have a few other things like the Monte Cristo. We got the pasta primavera and the chicken saltimbocca, which is all stuff I might try to do this week. So stay tuned if you wanna see more of this. Make sure you subscribe, turn on those notifications, and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about these videos, okay? So let's get into the cooking. And actually, we're gonna show you what it looks like in The Sims with a little bit of my commentating. And then we're gonna get to the real cooking, okay? So see you guys very, very soon. All right, let's see how I would make herb crusted salmon in the sims first you get your veggies you throw it on a cutting board and then it turns into the salmon then you chop up your tomatoes and then you cut your finger a little bit but it's okay no one else is eating this but me a little blood never hurt anyone cut yourself again when you're trying to cut the onions that's fine and then you're just very sad throw some uh, extra salt on your onions okay got it i'm gonna put it all in the bowl why does it look like a salad I don't know, okay. And then extra salt in the salad bowl. Then what do we do with it? Then you throw it on a pan. We're actually gonna cook ours in the oven, spoilers. But then you just flip it around a little bit, you know, that's how, you wanna move the salmon as much as possible. At least my Sim thinks so, because then it'll cook faster, right? Then you take it and you pour it onto a plate. And ta-da, ew, it's ugly. Why is it so ugly? Well, hopefully ours looks better than that because that looks just disgusting and I don't think I would eat it. So we're gonna try our best and let's see how ours turns out. Anna would definitely be excited to bite into the salmon I create. She may not like her own, but she may like mine way better. Let's go. Oh yeah, guys, it's my birthday in two weeks, just under two weeks, August 31st, don't forget. I don't know, I'm not doing anything for my birthday. I can't go anywhere, I can't see my boyfriend, he lives in Canada, the borders are closed, it sucks. What I'm gonna do is a video for a cake from Sim. I'm gonna do the blue Funfetti cake because I've always loved Funfetti cakes with the sprinkles inside, they're just so pretty. And then we got sprinkles on the outside and the icing is blue and my favorite color is blue. We're gonna try that uh, for a birthday video and I might do a stream as well. If you guys want to see me stream something, let me know as well in the comments. Probably just games. I don't know if I would do a cooking stream for my birthday because that's a lot of work and it exhausts me and I kind of want to relax on my birthday. So we'll see how that goes. Okay. All right. Let's go. This recipe for the lemon herb crusted salmon sounds really delicious. In Sims, it's only herb crusted salmon, but I thought we'd put our spit on it and add some more stuff. So we got lemon and parm added to it. So I'm really excited to test it out and see how this turns out. I haven't cooked in a while, so this is kind of new again to me, but I'm really excited to learn more and experience more different random types of foods I normally wouldn't. So let's let's do it. So we got our ingredients right here. The salmon, we're gonna do Greek yogurt, butter, lemon, garlic, Parmesan cheese, dill, and fresh parsley. All right, we are gonna set the oven to 400. And now we wait. Meanwhile, let's prep our vegetables and get the salmon ready in the tray. We're just putting enough oil in the pan to bake it. Definitely, you can use parchment paper or foil. But if you use foil, you want to spray it. So we're gonna put that off to the side while we prep our veggies. Get the garlic, chop off the ends. Um, I do have a garlic 
smasher, which is very, very handy because cutting garlic on your own is not very fun. This handy device is amazing. You can even put it in there with your skin. Okay, these are huge pieces of garlic. That's fine. Gonna, yeah. Just squeeze it till all the garlic juices come out. One down. We'll speed through the rest. Right, now that we got our garlic ready, you can't go wrong with garlic, I'm sorry. We love our garlic. And if you're thirsty, don't forget to have a drink. I got my handy lemon glass here. Let us continue. So this is for the spread. We're gonna add quarter cup parm, quarter cup green yogurt. I might even do a third of a cup of parm. Yeah, it's about a third. You can't go wrong with more cheese, right? I did like a third of a cup. Since I did a third of a cup of parm, I did the equal amounts of the Greek yogurt. And this is actually, you can use Greek yogurt instead of mayonnaise. Or if you wanted to go use mayonnaise and you didn't have Greek yogurt, you could do that. But Greek yogurt just is a healthier alternative and it really like adds a lot of flavor to it. So I'm excited to see how this is gonna turn out. And being from a Mediterranean household, we always have Greek yogurt on hand. Last thing we need is a little bit of lemon zest. So I'm just gonna use this cheese grater because I can't find a smaller zester. Oh, that smells so good. Love freshly zested lemons. I, ha I have a better tool for this. I just don't know where it is because this isn't my kitchen. Remember that one time I was streaming and I cut my finger and basically cut like a chunk off my finger when I was slicing a lemon? I remember. That was a whole fun time. I thought I had to go to hospital almost to get stitches, but it finally stopped bleeding. Just a little bit. You don't need a lot. It says two teaspoons, so whatever you can get. There we go. Beautiful. It just adds a freshness to it that I think is going to be really nice. We're also going to put some fresh squeezed lemon before we start cooking it too. I'm basically just going to stir this all together until it's nice and combined. Get in there. Oh, it smells so good. I wish, I wish we had smell-o-vision. Why don't we have that yet? That would make cooking streams even more epic. So now for the dry spread topping to the crust, right? We're gonna do a quarter cup of parm. We need to chop up some parsley. I don't know how much it says, two tablespoons. I'm not a professional, I haven't cooked in a while, so don't judge me on my knife skills. And this cutting board moves. Why does it not stay in one place? I need a better cutting board. I don't want too much, cause like I'm not big on parsley. So I'm just gonna do like that amount, I think, and then chop it up even finer if I can. It's so like, it just wants to spin. Like what? Jesus, why? It's not flat. I think we have other ones. I just, I thought this was the nicest looking one. Small pieces. Cause I don't want big old chunks of parsley in my teeth, you know? I guess if you had a uh, food processor, that could work even better for mixing stuff like this. But we're doing it by hand cause I don't know if we have one. I'm sure we do. I just don't feel like finding it. All right. That's a lot. I'm just gonna do that amount. I'm not gonna do everything on this because it feels like too much. We're gonna use two tablespoons of dill. I don't have fresh dill. They didn't have it at the market that I went to, so. Oh well. We need our melted butter and then we'll stir this all together for our crumble. All right, melted butter going in. And we just mix it all nicely till it turns crumbly. It will because the butter, but it won't be super wet like the other one to top our salmon in. All right, I'd say that's crumbly, don't you? Okay, so now we're gonna work with this salmon. So I got this wild caught Alaskan sockeye salmon fillets. Looked pretty good and I was at the meat counter to try to get someone to get me some of the fresh fish, but they didn't have anyone there and I didn't feel like waiting around until someone showed up. I just found this in the freezer section and they look still like really nice. Like, and they're perfectly portioned, so this is good for like two people. So I'll have like two meals for me. Beautiful, look at that. We got this fancy sea salt shaker. So I'm just gonna shake some of that on top and a little bit of pepper as well. Not a lot, depending on how much of a pepper fan you are, but the little sprinkle can't hurt. Now we're gonna spread our wet mixture, parm, Greek yogurt, garlic, lemon zest. That's gonna go right on top. 
gonna be a lot. This made more than for this amount of salmon, but that's okay. Extra cheese, extra flavor. I think we're doing better than our sim already. It's already gonna look prettier, 100%. Trying to evenly spread this, make it pretty. All right, I know that looks like a lot. I hope it it's not too much for it, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Now we got our crumble and this will go right on top and we're gonna pat it into it. This is a lot too. I think my recipe is a little bigger than the amount of salmon I bought. So I might change the recipe before I send it to you guys, but I will have the recipe posted on my website and I'll have a link to it. And then we're just gonna like pat it in. Oh, that's gonna be so cute. Look at that. Okay, now we're ready to put it in the oven. All right, going in. Now we'll set the timer for 15 minutes. There we go. And now we wait. So I'm a dummy and I forgot to put the lemon. The lemon is squeezed on the salmon. Now we gotta shut it before I let all the heat out. All right, looks like it's ready to come out of the oven. Quite tasty. All right, looking good. I think it's ready. Let us cut into it. We're gonna see how it looks inside. Should be nice and flaky. Yes, look at that. Mm-hmm. Let's see if I can get a better close up. Dun -dun. Salmon! All right, so here's our lemon herb and parm crusted salmon. Just like the Sims. Sorry, this one fell apart when I tried to move it, but this one looked pretty enough. I got a couple pictures, so there we go. And of course, you wanna squeeze extra lemon on it because lemon is amazing and makes everything taste better. So I'm gonna try a bite. Wow, that's like a lot, but really good. Oh my God. I love the fresh squeezed lemon on there. You can definitely taste the parm and the lemon zest even. But one thing I will say is I had to cook it a little bit longer than the 15 minutes because I did make a little bit too much topping, I think. So it kept it colder. What I would recommend is cook it. I got food on my hair. It's fine. I would cook it about 20 minutes instead of 15 and make sure your oven is at 400 the whole time. Cause I had opened the oven to take some pictures and it got cooler. So I think that kind of made it made it so I had to cook more. Mmm, that's so good. Now I know why salmon is so expensive. It's so good for you and so tasty, oh my god. Sorry, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be scarfing this down. <laughs> this is my dinner, my lunch, breakfast tomorrow, I don't know, it's a lot of salmon. Delicious, like honestly. Right amount of seasoning, definitely good amount of salt. I think it turned out better than my Sims food. What do you guys think? <laughs> do you wanna see more of these videos? I don't know, we're kind of figuring it out as I go. I hope you guys liked the way I edited it. Let me know in the comments what type of food you wanna see me make next. I do have pasta primavera on the list for tomorrow, so stay tuned for that video as well. And and then from there, I'll take your request. So leave me a comment, let me know what you'd like to see from a video game. Doesn't have to be Sims, could be any game. I do have the Fallout cookbook. There's a World of Warcraft cookbook as well. I don't have it. And then a Skyrim cookbook. So ESO, stuff like that. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm really happy. I love my salmon. Like nothing wrong with this at all. The only issue was that it took longer to bake than I thought it would. It came out tasty and delicious in the end, so it doesn't really matter. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in another video of Anna Bites.